What's up YouTube? Aeon here, back with another Amateur Guild Wars video. So, I wanted to make a video demonstrating one of the most beautiful jumping puzzles in Guild Wars, and that is the Mad King's Clock Tower. Just look at this. It is amazing, and I just want to show this off. So maybe if you haven't played the game yet, this will change your mind. Or maybe if you have, you get to see kind of like uh, more people trying to attempt this jumping puzzle. If you completed this jumping puzzle, then that's really good. Um, it takes a little bit of more coordination than you know you would think. I mean, you're just seeing people jump around on the screen, but it does get kind of intense. I mean, it kind of gets your adrenaline pumping. So it's a pretty fun puzzle if you want to complete it. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you to see if I can do it. Maybe I can do it in one attempt. That would be amazing, but you know we're gonna we're gonna try. <laughs> so yeah, the more I talk, the more I'm like, oh, I'm not concentrating anymore. So I probably will miss pretty quickly. And some of these jumps do seem like kind of really difficult to do. So if you're gonna you know, if you're if you and if you don't want to get the chest here, you don't have to. You can though. So like, just got the chest right there. Um, I don't think there's much in it though. It's kind of like your halfway point. And then it gets really distracting up here. Like, do you want to? Like, you're kind of thinking, okay, do I jump on this? Do I jump on that? And this is actually the end. And I'm gonna probably mess it up right here because what's gonna happen is this this you have to wait for the clock tower to explode, the face of it to break at the bottom. And that happens very, very close to the end. There we go. <laughs> That's pretty good. First try. Um, excellent. So we'll go ahead and loot the chest. You don't get very much from this. Uh, just some couple stuff. The first time I did this with this character, I got... What did I get? Mad King chest. There you go. And there was nothing very much in it. So that's that's what I got. Nothing too amazing. Uh, what character am I using right now? Guardian. Yes. So this is my Guardian character. Not not too much to look at yet. I think I... Actually, I just barely got her to... What's the highest level you can get in this game? Now I'm thinking it's 80, but is that right? Or is it 60? I think it's 80 right now. Um, I can't even remember. Yeah, 80. So I just got this character to 80 about a week ago, and I've been really excited for this jumping puzzle. It's really fun to do. Uh, if you haven't tried it yet, um, try it out. It's You just go to Lion's Arch. Let me see if I can... No, you won't be able to see it from the map here. But yeah, you just go to Lion's Arch. The whole thing's decked out in Halloween. It's beautiful. Uh, the Mad King is walking around. You get to go into his labyrinth. It's really fun stuff. I'll try to do the jumping puzzle one more time just to see if I can give advice on how to do it a little bit faster. Because um, I, I did learn some tricks from doing this, you know, like a million times and failing a million times and uh, getting frustrated. And uh, yep, <laughs> if you if you have little patience, be careful. These things do kind of get your uh, blood boiling if you kind of keep falling off, especially if you fall off in the same spot. And I'll show you, and I'll tell you whenever we get to that spot that most people have trouble with. So at the beginning, you don't have to rush. Just get off the first gear pretty quick, and then after that, it's pretty smooth sailing. Because once you get up here, you're stuck. So you'll just wait till that uh, black gear right there that's on the side of the tower comes over, and it should break right about now. Okay, so then you'll jump over this first hurdle, and that's where I have a lot of my difficulty. So I just skip that little gear, jump come to the side and go straight to the around the gear. You see all these other people going uh, around the gear? I go on it. So then here is the hardest part for a lot of people. You get to here, it's already underneath the green stuff. You just gotta jump anyway. You just gotta pretend like you're ahead of the game. I mean, you're gonna get jump into the, into the water, the little hands are gonna come up and grab you, but it's okay. You will survive for at least a second to jump out of it, so do not panic is uh, some good advice. I just love this intro every time. I'm just like, look at the face on the moon, the clock, everything. It just looks great. So we jump, 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 and we're stuck here. We gotta wait till this thing rotates at least twice. So you're looking for that gear to break right about now, I think. Okay, and then you'll jump over this, try to get on this without falling. 
Don't waste too much time right there, because then the next part gets hard. Jump on the gear to get ahead of your uh, competition, I guess. And then you'll get here, and this is where you want to kind of just make a smooth turn into the stone. Up, onto the gear, onto the stairs. Uh, it's safer to jump onto the lower hanging stairs. Jump onto the gear. I jump twice, and like I said, I always go for the lower hanging stairs, because I think it's just safer. Jump onto this part, and this kind of will jack you up too, so be careful right there, because it does feel like a little bit of a hurdle. Then you'll have to jump down here. That's where a lot of people get lost. I'm not going to get the chest this time. Uh, then you'll jump. Pretty much it's kind of self-explanatory. Do not follow whatever that's going. Just go straight. Everything's pretty you know, straightforward from here. You'll get to this part and do a 180, and you'll be at the top of the clock tower again. There you go. <laughs> Talk so much through that whole thing. Uh, you'll want to wait till the water is just about to reach the si uh, the face of the clock, and that's whenever it'll open up. So don't jump too early. I've done that before. And then you can see where we jump through. Love it. Love the interior of this place. It looks amazing. The chest over here, you can loot. Uh, once you loot it the first time, you'll get like uh, generic stuff afterwards. So there you go. Um, yeah, I think that's everything I needed to explain about it. So... Oh, as always, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate your views so much. If you needed help on the clock tower, uh, I appreciate that you came to my video for help. And, you know, try this game. Have some fun. It's free to play after you, you know, you have to buy it, but, you know, you don't have to pay a monthly subscription. Like, wow, so that's, that's the only saving grace I can think of right now. But it's a very graphically beautiful game. And, you know, thanks for watching. Please subscribe.